and draw two things. One like this, and then with, you have to oh like you know overlap it just like this, like this. You can make this a little. You can make this a little bigger if you want. You know, a bigger, bigger thicker one. Now I'm gonna draw it. This. So this is gonna be the body, and this will be the stem where our cute little parrot will be sitting on. Now, what you want to do is take this, you know, sleeping line and make it thicker and longer. Just like this. It, it can be placed at the middle or side. It's your thing. Now, a parrot always has a big tail. So we go there. Yeah. Here you want to. Now it's a little tricky because you want to get this over to a certain place, and then you know, connect this up. And if you think this is not enough, you can add another one, just like that. It both looks super cute on both ways. Now our parrot needs a beak. How can I burn? So now you want to take a pink, you want to take a pink color and start, this is a little tricky so you want to watch out, you want to start like this and make a little curve like this and now you want to make like a little smile and then you want to make the beak a little like this, this won't be only this, now you want to just leave like a little gap and bring it forward here and then if you don't want this extra place you can you know raise this you can make the beak smaller or bigger according to your bird now our parrot needs some eyes what should we do for eyes i'll tell you it's always the simple eyes i draw you take any color now this is now your now thing you have to take any color I'm using yellow for the eye you know and then you want to draw a big all in the color and then you want to draw a semicircle in it a semicircle now you have to color it in our back looks very plain so we will spice it up with some beautiful you know feathers on the top. There is two options you can have. First, just have it plain like this. Or you can add, you know, feather. Like, you know, feather like thing. But I like the plain ones. And you can also add, like, this if you want to thicken it up. Also, you can thick it up and color it in. It looks beautiful. And I like this also. I'm going to go with this. Our palette now looks pretty, you know, good, but not that good as we want. Now, what we want to do is we're going to do some shading with chalk. This is easy. You can take your chalk, but this time you want to have it a little wet. And you're going to start over here. You want to do like this. At the moment, you cannot see how it is. But yeah, if we wait for a little longer, we can, you know, see. And take this part and then we don't the excess, so we just like this. I can see when it dries, it gives us a color like this. See? Now you want to wait a little time, even while we wait, we'll do our other feather. Mm -hmm. But now you want to be very careful because you want to mesh, you want to measure. So you want this place where it's blank should be filled on the other side. Just like that. I can see when it dries, you can make it, it's more visible now. So we we'll let it dry for some more time and we'll go with this beautiful things now. Our wings have, uh, the normal wings have more feathers in them, just like this. We draw 
normally like this. But this time we're going to make it a little more special by making it a little, you know, like zigzag. You're going to make it totally top piece like this. And you're going to leave some gap, some gap here. Start it again. Leave some gap. Again. And then leave some gap. And do it. And then last, last one, you can add a little dot, which looks just as cute. Now, you can see it's brown. Now, what you want to do is very simple. Take your fingers, and then you want to smudge it in, or you know, shade it in. So, you see an effect. Just like, you know, like dark to light, like gradient color. So, you do the gradient again. I like the gradient, you can go without it. It's okay, it's your drawing, so. If in this person you lose some color over here, so you want to draw it back again. Now we can do gradient print. It gives a little bit more, you know, realistic thing, but I don't know. Now, when we almost finished with this, this, the wings got dried up. So now we'll also do the same process, but you want to do up and down. Up and down. And up and then down. Up and then down. As you can see, it gives more of a, you know, I don't know how to say it, but it looks more beautiful. So now what you want to do, you can also give little shading shading the normal surface which is not it you can go with this too i kind of like it too so i'll just show you it just looks pretty cool now you want to take your pink chalk and and you want to also this should be red too now we'll do the beak just simple like this you want to do like this uh, I don't know if you can see, but let me look in there. And now, this is a bit tricky. So we have to make it line. Just like that. You know. You can make it a, a, a you want to leave some space in the, you know, middle. So, you know, you can work. But this time, we're not doing like, like, the way there's, you know, gap, we'll fill it in. But not like that. You want to copy the same thing on the other side. And now, while well, we wait for this and finish, I'm going to make this as a gradient. Just like that. And I just back. And again, add it. You can't, now if you see the stripes, you can't even, you can't even see the stripes because that blended well. And as you can see, looks beautiful. Now, if you want to have a little more, you know, you want to make this a little more spice. You can use our wet chalk paste. Green one. And you can also do it like this. Like, we'll wait. We'll, while we make this, we will add some beautiful leaves. This is pretty simple. You will not be attaching the leaves. It looks great, but it will be making the leaf look float, float. It looks pretty. You can do, you can do as many leaves or as less leaves as you want. I personally like this type. And if you want, you can add here. I like to just give two little leaves. And look how beautiful our stem is, our parrot is standing. Now, this dry. So now you can smudge this in. Well. Just when you smudge it in like this, you know, in a zigzag manner, it looks like a feather. So we'll do this. And beautiful little bag. You might be thinking something is missing. You're right. Something is missing. You want to take your out chalk and now add this left. Okay. And 
and voila your beautiful little i mean cute little parrot is ready you can there is a many ways you can customize it you can even make it colorful if you want so this is how you can draw a cute little parrot thank thank you for watching hope you liked it and subscribe to fun time and bye guys